Hi, I am Shorty Biscuit and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the EcoFlow Trail 200 DC power station. This is from EcoFlow's brand new line of portable trail series power station. It comes in three sizes, the 200, 300 and 300 plus. I pre-ordered this on Amazon and it arrived on release day and I'm now getting it open and I'll show you what's inside the box and tell you more about it. Manual on top. Yeah. Yeah, just the unit inside. Okay, let me get it open. Okay, and this is it. It really looks like a small speaker. Um, you can see next to the size of my head, it's really not that big. See the size of my hand. Um, let's see, there are two USB-C ports on the front here and two USB-A's. There are no other ports, inputs or other anything anywhere on it. Uh, there's a handle. It's, it's really light, right? It's a handle. And let's see. It says 140 watts, 100 watts, 12 watts, 12 watts. So the two USB-C ports, one is 140, one is 100 watts, and then the USB-A. And there's a sticker here. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not a fan of stickers, so I removed them. And the sticker actually says, press once for the screen on and off, press twice for low current mode on and off. So let's press the screen on. And, <laughs> okay, we go through this all the time. It's always 27%. I, I, I don't know how they get it to stay that way in transit, but it definitely stays at 27% out of the box. So it has the hours left, the percentage the input and output. Um, however, it does not connect to the app. Now, this is an interesting thing here because I really have come to love the fact that EcoFlow's power station connects to the app. It's a little bit disappointed that this does not have app support. However, the 300 plus does have app support. And so this is the 200. It doesn't have any DC ports. And I'll show you a lineup of what the three of them look like. The difference is that the 300 has inputs for solar and it also has a DC port, the car charging 12 volt port. And the 300 plus also has that. The 300 plus also has a light on the top of it. So that's what makes them different. I think if I were choosing again, I'd probably choose the 300 or 300 plus. This 200 DC version has a 192 watt hour battery. However, the 300 versions have 288 watt hour batteries in both of them. The difference in the two 300s is that like the 200 and the 300, which both have lithium ion phosphate batteries, the 300 plus has an NCM battery, which is the older battery chemistry. So be aware of that in your decision factory. The two USB-C ports on the front here are bi-directional, which means they are used for input and output. So I can use either one of these to charge up the device and it'd be the same two that's being used to power something else. I am sure it's intelligent enough to figure out what it's doing at which time. And so I will be checking that out. Another thing about the USB input is that they can both be used at once to charge the device. So the top one being 140, the bottom one being 100, you get two USB-C cables and two power bricks plugged into a power outlet and you can input with both of them at the same time for the maximum speed of recharging the device. So you can charge with either one or both at the same time. The sticker that was on the front mentioned that there was options for this multifunction button. So the press to turn it on, you press to turn it off, you know, the screen. But if you double press, what it does, it turns on low current mode. And that's for devices that use less power than you would want from the usual high outputs. So, and it works on the USB-A ports. So you double press to activate it with the USB-A cable in there and it would last for up to three hours on that mode. And if you needed to turn off the low current mode sooner, you just double press to deactivate it. And so that works on the USB-A ports. There's no USB-C cable included in this box. So I'd have to use 
one of my USB cables. I use a MacBook and it has a high power USB-C charging cable and block. So I'm going to be using that to charge it. I also recently got the 45 watt folding panel from EcoFlow that is the USB version that so it outputs USB-C and I'm going to see if I can use that with this so I can charge it on the go or at least keep it topped up on the go. I don't know yet if that works but I'm going to take it outside and test that out. What I do like about the 300 plus is that it has the light on top and the carrying handle is different from this. It has a built in USB-C cable. I have to see how that works in practice. In my head, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what if I pull it and it fall out? But I'm sure there must be some kind of a locking mechanism to keep it from detaching accidentally. This is, as you can see, pretty lightweight and comes in at 4.03 pounds. Um, the 300 is a bit heavier at five pounds, I think 5.63 or something to that effect. However, the plus is lighter. And I think that's because of the NCM battery versus the LIFEPO battery. This is a pretty cool design. I like that it's lightweight, it's easy to share. If you just need to use USB charging, like I have my drone, I have my phone, I have my tablet, I have these things with me when I go camping or just out the house and this is a smaller unit to take with you. I also have the River 3 Plus, which is also small and lightweight. Ooh, that gave me an idea. I can probably power my telescope with this one via the USB-C now that I have a USB-C to DC5521 barrel cable. And this is smaller and should fit in the tray of my telescope. I took the trail series outside and I connected it to my 45 watt solar panel. This solar panel comes in two versions, one that has MC4 connectors and this one that has USB-C. So on one side it's USB-C and the other side it has a barrel plug, I think it's 5521. It comes with a cable included and that cable has the 5521 on one end and the XT60i on the other end. So you can connect this panel either USB-C directly to a device or you can use the barrel plug and connect that to any one of the other power stations with the XT60 or XT60i input port. It did not work. Sadly, it did not work. When you connect the USB-C directly to the USB-C here from out of this and into this, nothing happens. It absolutely does nothing. I confirmed that it does work because I can plug my phone in, the, the same USB cable phone to the panel. I can also plug this cable from the panel to my River 2 Pro that worked seamlessly, or I can use the barrel plug XC60 to River 2 Pro or the barrel plug XC60 to the River 3 Plus. All of that works with the panel. So I know the panel is working and it is outputting power. It just won't take power in to the trail series, at least this version. So it comes in three versions that I mentioned, 200, 300, 300 plus. On the website, the 300 plus is being sold combined with one of these panels. I probably, I don't know which one. I didn't check to see which one, but either one would then output either MC4 with an adapter cable to XC60i or this one directly with the XC60i that comes with this one. It doesn't work. Another thing, right now you can see it is connected to the River 3 Plus. 55 watt input here and it says 61 watt output there. So it is charging. At first, what I tried it with was the River 2 Pro. Same setup with the USB-C on the River 2 Pro connected to this. You can see there's 11 to 14, it fluctuated watts outputting from the River 2 Pro. Nothing happening here on the Trail 200. Nothing, nothing happens on the Trail 200. So with the River 2 Pro, the only way I got it to charge with the River 2 Pro was by using the 12 volt port. So like I have those that I have in my car that charges my phone. I took it out my car, plugged it into the River 2 Pro, the output, you know, the 12 volt output with the USB-C, same cable, it charges fine. Plugged into wall, it charges fine. It will not charge on the River 2 Pro via USB-C directly, USB-C to USB-C. I came back inside and I tried it with the River 3 Plus. It works fine. The Delta 3 works fine. The Delta 2 works fine. So if you are trying to charge this via USB-C, the 3 Series River or the River 2 Pro via 12 volt or the Delta, it works perfectly fine. It is not charging via 
solar directly, at least with the solar panel that I have. And I don't have a different solar panel that's USB-C to try it with. I do know someone with the Trail Series 300, but they don't have a panel to try it with. So I guess we'd have to see when the 300 Plus comes out what that looks like in terms of charging. I suspect it's going to be using the XT60i port versus USB-C out to charge. This is a great entry into the power station world in general. And if you already have other power stations like I do, it's also a, just a nice small one when you don't need the power of the bigger devices. It is 192 watt hours. You have a range to choose from. And this one is small, portable, light enough at five pounds yeah i can like i can lift it with my finger it's really pretty lightweight it's great for taking on trips with you when you just need to keep your phone charged and multiple things over the weekend or something like that uh ecoflow has other batteries the rapid series the small ones like there are so many options to choose from and this fits right in the middle of them all at 192 watt hours for the 200 series and 288 watt hours for the 300 series and yeah I like this. It's cute. It's small. It matches the other product line. It charges via USB-C and you can do USB-C and USB-A. It is only 12 watts, so it's slower. So I would use that to charge my watch, let's say, or my headphones with, you know, USB-A and then leave these two higher powered for things that you need more power for, like your phone and your tablet, even your MacBook, right? You can charge your MacBook with this. So I'm going to be testing it out some more, doing more things around the house with it. But all in all, I think it's a great small device and a nice addition to the EcoFlow lineup.